Welcome back. I'm uh, Pepe, and today we're going to do tricolored stuffed peppers. Okay, I like the tricolored rather than the green, is they have more flavor, they're sweeter, and their skin isn't as tough as on the green pepper. Okay, so let's let's get started. What I have, I have everything that we're going to use to make this. This is all going to be for my stuffing, which is beef and pork. And I have my tomatoes. I have my sauce. I have mozzarella cheese. I have Osiago. And I have all my seasoning and herbs. Okay. I have my garlic, my salt. Remember, always salt and pepper. You always want to salt your, your food or your preparations before you do anything. People who are salt sensitive, you could use Mrs. Dash. That works out very well. Okay, let's get started. Now I have peppers here. You see how they lay flat, which is great. That's what we're looking for right now. They are laying flat. They are laying flat, okay? This one and this one here, See, this one will fall right over. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to slice the high spot off of that. There you go. Now you got a, a straight pepper now. This one, the same thing. Okay, so we're going to level that off a bit. There you go. Now, with our peppers, what we're going to do, we're going to cut a quarter of an inch from where the stem is. We're going to cut that right down, just like that. Now, inside you have ribs. You're gonna slice the ribs and you're gonna pull out the seeds, okay? Tap whatever seeds you have there, okay? And what you're going to do, you're going to save this. You're not gonna throw this out. You pop this out and you can make this peppers with whatever, whatever else you're cooking. Okay, we're gonna put them right back in the pan here. Quarter of an inch, we're gonna cut the top off. Cut the ribs out, like so. Okay, insert your hand, pull out any frill that you see inside because you want the pepper nice and clean and no seeds in it, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do this same thing. All the way down. Nice and nice. There we go. Like so. And this one. And same thing. And be careful when you do this because you don't want to, you don't want to cut through the pepper and cut yourself. Cutting through the pepper isn't bad. It's when you cut yourself, that's bad. You don't want to do that because you don't want to taint whatever you're you're cooking, you know, with your blood. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the other two peppers right here, like so. Okay, so always concentrate on what you're doing so you don't have any accidents. See how nice and clean they are inside. Okay, and we just lined them right up. This one I don't care for. I'm going to trim this one just a little bit, just like, oh, that's perfect. Okay, now we got this one. Okay. And I'm going to take that out. Take everything out inside. Make sure you get the seeds out. Okay. This one's still off a little bit. Let's, let's do this one a little bit more. Like that. Hmm. Give me a hard time, huh? Okay. Oh, there we go. We're set. So, all your, your waste and stuff goes on the side. We don't want those. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to fill this tray up with a half inch of water. And we're going to turn, what we're going to do first is we're going to season the inside of all our peppers, okay? Salt and pepper. Turn them upside down. Upside down. Okay, all of them. Like so. To fill this with quarter inch of water, and I'm gonna put this right in the microwave, ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, we have the peppers out of the microwave. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to salt and pepper them again, okay? And we're going to just drop a little bit of seasoning inside, which I have here. All right. Now what we're doing here, our peppers are ready to be stuffed. What we're doing is we're making we're making our mixture. We're making our our beef and pork, okay? And when that is done, and our rice, our rice is being cooked also. Okay, remember to stir your rice and always season, always season. When things are well seasoned, they taste a lot, lot better. Some people under season what they're cooking and it's bland, okay? You don't want bland food, especially if you're serving it to someone, okay? Yeah. And what we have, we have our beef here and it's partially, it's partially cooked. So what we're doing now is we're waiting for our rice to be cooked. Okay, and that's, that's almost ready. Almost ready, a little bit more. Now with the rice, I use the basmonic rice and I use chicken broth, okay, rather than water. Your recipe on a package always says to use water. Now, use, use chicken broth, okay? It gives the rice more flavor. And what you do, it tells you 15 minutes for rice. The rice is gonna be pasty. You want your rice staying together, but loose, it's puffy, okay? So what we're doing here, when the rice, the liquid in here is almost done. You put your lid on, turn the, the, uh, the flame off and let it steam, okay? Now your rice absorbs all the liquid, okay? And that is gonna work perfectly with your meat that you're gonna add it to, okay? We're going to be doing that in a few seconds here, okay? You wanna keep, keep stirring your rice. See how your rice is getting? and the liquid is starting to absorb in there. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we're looking for. Okay, like so. And everything is coming really good together here. Okay, so pretty soon the rice will be done and then we could mix everything in and I will show you exactly what we're going to put into the pan, into your beef and into your pork, okay? Okay, rice is just about done. Give it a couple of minutes. It's gonna absorb all the liquid, okay? And then we're gonna add everything to our, our meat. Now, if you're using a blend meat, in other words, 78%, okay, 85, 90, maybe, okay, you need some fat. 75 is a little bit too much fatty, okay, and you'll have a lot of liquid. Here, what we have here doesn't have a lot of liquid uh, because it was, I believe, 85% ground beef that we're using. The only liquid we have in here now is a little bit of fat um, uh, pork that I put into the uh, mix with the beef. Okay, so this is just about done. Okay, now what we're going to do, we are going to, this is your crushed tomatoes. We're going to put our crushed tomatoes in here, like so. Okay, just like that. The whole can of crushed tomatoes. Just like that. Okay. That is excellent. Just like that. We're going to lay it on the top. Just stir it just a little bit. Little bit. Okay, you want that all blended in good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add our tomato sauce. You're only going to use half of the tomato sauce. 
like so, over the top. Okay, that's what we're going to do here. Half of the tomato sauce, just lay it on top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our rice. Okay, see how our rice is? See, it's not, it's not all stuck together. It's nice and loose. Okay, we're going to spoon this right on top, the whole thing, right on top, spreading it out. Just like that, okay? And of course, you're going to add your seasoning on top of that. Nice, look how beautiful that's gonna be. Okay, then we're going to add our parsley on top of that. And now we're going to add our mozzarella cheese. And add, put a lot of mozzarella in there, okay? And we're going to add our Asiago or Parmesan, whichever one you like. Doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going to mix this all up. We're going to mix and mix and mix. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Turn this on a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything is blended so beautifully here. Beautifully. Okay. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stuff our peppers. Bring this over here, okay? And we're going to get we're going to have to use this spoon, I guess. Okay, we're going to grab our pepper, okay? And we're going to fill that right up inside there, just like that. Oh yeah, just like that. Look how nice that looks. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Okay. Just like that. Look at that. And just measure them evenly all the way around so you have enough for all your peppers. There should be left over, and then you're going to mound it. Okay. That's what we're doing. Just like that. And we got a couple of more. All right. And we're going to fill that all up to the top like that. Just to the top. A little bit more on that one. Okay. Now we got this one. And we're going to fill this one up too. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now what's ever left, we're gonna put on top. We're going to mound it, what's ever left. Okay, like so, like so. Whatever we have here, that goes on top, just like that. So we got rid of all that. Okay, let me just wash my hands a minute. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to put some mozzarella on top, like that. Okay, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Nice mozzarella cheese on top. Somewhere. 
And we're going to get some more. I'm going to put that right on there like that. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do with that now is we're going to get the rest of our rest of our tomato sauce. We're going to put a dollop on top, like so. Okay. Just like that. Here and back. We gotta put this oven on. How do we put the oven on? Here we go. Bake. 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 Okay, we got our oven on, okay? We're gonna let this heat just a wee bit, okay? At 350, we're gonna put our peppers in for approximately 15, 20 minutes, okay? We'll take them out and you'll see what the finished product is gonna look like. Right now, right now, okay. Okay, now we baked the peppers at 350, okay, for approximately 20 minutes. As you can see, this is how they look when they come out of the oven, okay? All your mozzarella is melted right around the pepper, okay? Your tomato sauce is spread out. Now, all we have to do is take them out, cut them, and eat them. And that is your stuffed peppers for today. And I'm Pepe and Bon Appetit and Mangia Tutto. <laughs>